In today's video, I explain exactly how I swap this for this. Also, let's quickly talk about the fact I haven't mentioned the technology. Couldn't even tell you, haven't even read the review. No idea what this iron does compared to my old one. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon down here at Tidworth Gowson Golf Club. Never actually been here, heard amazing things. Golf Club looks exceptional. And this is my current two iron, which was my builder bag series back at Christmas. Trying to build my bag all over again, still all my clubs on the cheap and I actually got two of these for 80 pounds way back when. I'll show you a few clips of that video. I sold the three iron for 80 pounds, which essentially means that this is free. This was my favorite two iron back in my early 20s. I then recently had a Srixen utility iron, which I loved, but because of the series of change everything in my bag, I decided to sell the Srixen and go back to, well, what I thought I liked. It's been a couple of months and I don't like it. It's not the club, it's me. But it's time for a change. And when I saw this listing, almost thought <sighs> it had to be done. So we're gonna go to the pro shop now, meet Harry, one of the assistants in the shop who's selling this SIM UDI for 125 pounds, which I think is actually really good value. They're brand new at 200 pounds. And well, this currently, outrageously on eBay, if you look at the sold listings, is going up for like 150 pounds, which is just stupid. It's not worth 150 pounds. And the whole point of this channel is for you guys to buy a club at its bottom, i.e. when I got these both for 40 pounds each. And if you don't like it, which I don't like it, I'll swap it out with something else at the bottom. The SIM2 UDR, which I'm gonna buy now at 125 pounds, I would say is at the bottom. I can't imagine it's gonna lose any more value over the next two, three years. So if I do get on with it, brilliant keep it in the bag. If I don't get on with it, I'll sell it for £125 to someone else and I'll put a £60 utility iron in my bag, an £80. I don't really care about the price, it's more about how much value is it going to lose whilst I chop around with it. Sim UDI acquired. Harry, lovely meeting you. Assistant that is subscribed to the channel. So everyone be more like Harry and go and subscribe to the channel. It's kind of a win-win situation. Obviously, I remember what it was like working in the shop, shop and getting own use. Obviously, he sold it for quite similar to what he sold it to me for, so he's not out of pocket. And obviously, I've got quite a good deal. And that's the kind of idea of this whole video. I don't care if your clubs cost 800 pounds or 400 pounds or two grand or 1500. But if you're just starting this game, I want you to understand you can buy expensive equipment, play with it, like this for example, but if you don't get on with it, I don't know if I like this Sin 2 UDI, I don't know if I get on with it. If anything, actually I would say TaylorMade do make some of the best driving irons, just out of personal experience. But I don't know if I'm gonna like this graphite stiff shaft, but I might, and if I don't, then well, I'm gonna sling it, same amount of money, and get something else. Plus I just get to try new shiny things. I mean, what's not to like? And good morning, it's the next day down here at Sanford Springs Golf Club. We've got a very important test coming up right now. The bag test. Does it look any good in the bag? Okay, here goes nothing. Let's see if it sits nicely with all its new friends. There she is. I think I need to point out, by the way, I wouldn't, this would still be in the bag, by the way, if it was working, like, don't get me wrong, it's my swing 100%, but this just feels heavy, as well as it's got, it's got a lovely um, a line grip on it, but it's mid-size, and I don't have mid-size grips, and then I'm thinking, should I change the grip, but then what happens if I don't get on with it? That's another 15 pounds down the drain. So that's why it's going. Plus also, hang on a minute, just push that ferrule up a tiny bit, there we go, now it's worth 300 pounds. Also, I can get decent amount of money for this, so that's why this whole video is, I can swap this, I mean, let's do a calculation. I bought this for 40 pounds, and got another one for 40 pounds and I sold its brother, the three iron for 80 pounds. And then uh, this now valued, uh, I'm not gonna do 150, that's just ridiculous. But let's say I sold it for 120, take the postage out, take the fees out, I get this for 100 pounds. That means I've swapped and upgraded it to that for 25 pounds. And I can't see that dropping any lower than that 
for the next year or so. Do you know what I mean? Like you look at the two irons that have come out recently, whether it's the P790 or the Gapolo or whatever it might be, they're all around the 120, 130 pound mark. So unless the head falls off or this little screw out the back comes apart, that's still gonna be 125 pounds. And that's why it's essentially just swapping it out. Like I made a decent amount of profit off this because of my other trade and now I've got that. And that's kind of what I want to show you guys. Like it's not difficult. Well, it is difficult finding the deals, but if you come across them, I'd rather you guys just, guys just try different equipment and find out. My game's so much better now because I've tried so many different generations, models, types of clubs. I know what works. I know that works. I've tried so many drivers. That's not coming out the bag ever. I don't care if they bring out a 100 pound one. Doesn't need to come out, it's working. I haven't found more fairways in my life than this bad boy right here. Same again with the putter. I know it's obviously got an Odyssey, whatever, on the bottom of it. But this ping putter, again, fitted for me. Very upright, very long. They could bring out whatever, and that's staying in. The irons, yeah. Wedges, I love. Irons, probably gonna be the next change. But I'll keep playing with them. I need to work on my swing. And then when that deal pops up, I'll sell these and then upgrade. First hit with this bad boy and it passed the test. I couldn't possibly tell you if it's gonna go any further than the RSI. I highly doubt it. They're the same loss, same length of shot. Okay, the graphite, I might be able to swing it slightly faster, but with two irons, it's all about strike, angle of attack, getting that spin rate right. And it did just what I wanted it to do. The only way this test could have been more fairer is if I was hung over. It's first thing in the morning, I'm sore from the gym, it's first swing of the day. This is when I'd use this club. Just find the middle of the fairway, get warmed up into it, one, two, three holes, and then the driver starts coming out. And it did everything I wanted it to do. Went straight, wind didn't touch it. I didn't really hit it out the middle, yet yeah, you wouldn't tell. That's why I love two irons. Also, let's quickly talk about the fact I haven't mentioned the technology. Couldn't even tell you, haven't even read the review. No idea what this iron does compared to my old one. Whether it's 0.5% faster, more forgiving, hotter face, sleeker design, you name it. Mainly because that 0.5% of improvement isn't gonna help my 49% slice, my 35% pull hook. It might shave off here and there, but if I don't hit it out the middle, we're talking a two iron, if I don't hit that flush out the middle with a good angle of attack, good club head speed, that 5%, 1%, let's go out there, 3% is lost. Hit out the toe, you've just lost 29%. Hit out the heel, way too much spin. So that's why I don't really care for the reviews. And sadly, this club still hasn't been able to fix my massive pull hook. Shock horror. Club face and swing path still needs to be work on. Well, this massive draw at the moment, which on well, my day is okay, but when the wind picks up, like today for example, it's just uncontrollable. Mute the second one, but again, we're talking like 30 yard draw, which just isn't it. Moral of the story, swap your golf clubs for the same amount of money that you've gone for. Upgrade, be crafty, have a look on Facebook, Gumtree, eBay, think outside the box and work on your golf swing. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys later.